Welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray, brought to you proudly by Tennessee Wildlife Resource Agency, Barton Power Sports, Sportsman's Warehouse, and Best Care Home Services. Hey, welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray. Uh, I tell you what, it's hard for me not to say, uh, all, I got all these call letters now uh, since we have expanded uh, the show uh, this morning uh, into the Brownsville uh, radio network and also uh, Jackson, Tennessee, mm-hmm. uh, which I'm really proud to be on uh, uh, from the Brownsville network uh, on 95.3. I got the AM station there. And then, of course, we're on also FM uh, 101.5 out of out of uh, Jackson. Well, you know you're going to have to use your FM voice. And I've got to use my FM, FM voice. voice. There, there, you there, there you go. Welcome back. Well, now that you... Right. Uh, he and we're, we oh, are celebrating Dave Gabbard Day. We're <laughs> celebrating David Glenn Gabbard Day oh. uh, out of uh, Fraser, Tennessee, and this is his life. <laughs> As he calls it quits after over 34 years uh, with the TWRA, and we've been surprising him this morning. I hope you folks out there have enjoyed the conversation. I know many of you, now that our network has expanded uh, in a lot, most of West Tennessee have uh, probably run into Dave before. Uh, he, maybe when he was a wildlife officer many years ago up in uh, Henderson County, but uh, more importantly uh, for us in his years as uh, information officer, our minister of propaganda, minister of which propaganda. we're going to ask about that in a little while on this show. But we got two more guests on with us now. Both of these guys have known Dave a long time. Uh, they've uh, really shared a duck blind. Uh, for a long time <laughs> together, and uh, we are the only p- uh, part of the state that actually has an information officer and an education officer, right? right? And so we're glad to have on, uh, it sounds like the Whistler's on there yeah. with us, but uh, <laughs> <That's>, uh... <laughs> we're glad to have uh, two of his duck hunting buddies, and uh, and that's uh, our good friend Jeff Martin. Good morning, Jeff. Hey Larry, how are y'all? Oh, we're doing um, good. Trying to hold Gabbert down. He's got a seat. He's got his seatbelt on now this oh, yeah. morning in here, and uh, <laughs> and then of course uh, Lance Ryder, who is uh, could probably share a few stories about. Uh, no, nah, you don't want to do that. No, we don't want to do no, that. No, huh? no. This, this is a family show here, you know. No, so. that's not that. You know, the, you know the sealed indictments are so oh, hard to get out of. Oh, <laughs> Lance Ryder, uh, Region One uh, Education <laughs> Man, and uh, Lance. Good morning. Good morning, Larry and Dave. How are y'all? Uh, well, I don't know about Dave, but he's completely stunned here. You know, he was no. he had this format all laid out, and uh, yeah, he conned me in do the format, Dave. Get all these people, and he did. You did a really good job on the format that we threw away when he came in the room here. So, uh, <laughs> but let's talk a little it's bit. Hard, about, uh, what? What? It's hard. It's hard to get something on Gabby. I'm telling you. Well, we did it. Uh, we did it, and I so know you did a good job with it. Well, uh, let's talk with you. Uh, Lance, you've known Dave for a long time. Uh, uh, describe uh, your relationship to Dave here. I mean, uh, Gene Smith already told us that he kissed him in the room one night, and he didn't snore the rest of the night. So I don't want to know any more of uh, those kind of stories. But, uh, no, we're not going to go in that direction. But tell us, Lance, but, uh, uh, yeah. talk about Dave, what he means to the TWRA. Well, I don't know what to say other than that he, as he likes to put it, you're going to miss me when we're gone. That's going to be the perfect thing. <laughs> He yeah. always says that, and we didn't think it was going to be this quick, but we definitely are. And he, he is one of the true friends that I've got in my life, and those are hard to come by. Amen. And they are, yeah. Much, much less to be working with them. And uh, I've known him actually since uh, college days at Tennessee Tech. Oh, really? So okay. Know, uh-huh. I've known him a long time. So he really did go to college. Okay. Yeah. I just want to make sure that somebody – Well <laughs> – yeah. Well, you know, back then you didn't really, you could just kind of pay somebody off. Yeah. And with it. <laughs> right. right. It's one of them things that I used to not could spell environment. Now I live in one. You live in one. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> but I know as, right. as, as the, uh, when you guys kind of uh, had this uh, system where you would do the education, he would do the information. Uh, talk about uh, Dave's job as the information, as, as the man, the, uh, the voice of the TWR in Region 1. <laughs> well, like you said, he will never be replaced. Somebody might take his place, but he'll never be replaced. You got that uh, right. Amen. It's, and it's, it's true, uh, a true partnership that you, you, he does little things that you don't notice, 
And the reason you don't know is because they're done. Yes. Yeah. Uh, you don't have to go back and say, we need to do this, but he's already got it covered. So, like I said, there's nobody that's going to replace him. They may take his place there, but they're not going to replace him. And, so, I, and, uh, and I know that uh, you have shared a duck blind with him uh, several times. <laughs> and uh, Oh, yes. And 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 we've Jen, been all over the world, actually. Uh, all over the world. I mean, you've been to Paris and then t- Tennessee and Texas. <laughs> well, no, uh, I mean, we, we've been to Mexico, and you can consider the coat is a different world. That's a yeah, different world. Yeah. So you made trips together, it, and, and he actually and came back. Picked up rocks in New Mexico. Yeah, my favorite, my favorite. <laughs> if you got a minute, I got, I got a minute. About a two minute story. Yeah. They, uh, my favorite is Dave and I were in Mexico down there shooting the little ducks and everything. So. We came back in for the siesta, and the, and the guy said, we need to get some doves for some hors d'oeuvres. And we said, oh, do, you, do you and Dave want to go? We said, sure we do. So we went out there, and I'm telling you, I don't know how many we killed. There's a bunch of doves. Yeah. Quite a bit, actually. So we brought them back in. Of course, the next day, everybody said, we want to go dove hunting. And the owner said, oh, we can't. The season's closed. Oh, <laughs> oh my. So here, here we are looking at, looking at each other and saying, uh-oh. Oh. <laughs> I, know I know I've know. i been down there in the uh, my bird bird boy, they call uh-huh. him. Went out and got your birds. Uh, right. Yeah, well, a, a hawk was flying over, and he said, shoot hawk, shoot hawk. <laughs> I said, whoa, we don't shoot hawks around here. But uh, how about you, Jeff? I know that... Uh, you and uh, and your wonderful uh, Taj Mahal facility up there, uh, and you've dealt with Dave not only as, as as a duck hunting partner, but also in your job up in the in the real foot area and things along that. Now, talk a little bit about uh, Dave Gabbard. Larry, well, there's very few people in this world that you can say you truly can depend on. Amen. But Dave is one of them. He is the most dependable friend, coworker that you'll ever have. And uh, you so, tell him you need something, you don't have to worry about it anymore. It's like Lance said, it gets done. It's done on time. And uh, I wouldn't take nothing for the time I spent with him and his family in that duck blind. Well, and, uh, he wouldn't tickle me anymore. He, Dave's a duck hunting purist. If you've ever been up there with him, you know he shoots that black powder shotgun. <laughs> yes, he does. Yeah. But Dave shoots, everybody thinks I'm shooting dynamite off of him. <laughs> And he's had, but, uh, uh, yeah, it, and he's uh, been able to. Now, you started do, shooting the black powder uh, early in your life, or did I that, built my first black powder gun in 1973. You did mm-hmm. just because you wanted to. Yeah, I kind of got you know the, the short story. What got me in, in involved in black powder? Yeah, is watching the movie Sergeant York with Gary there, Cooper. There you go. When they had that turkey shoot. Oh yeah, with yeah. that, that, that black powder gun. Yeah, yeah. So when he goes to the duck blind and you don't tell people what he's shooting, Jeff, <laughs> it, it, it does have a way to uh, make people turn around and say, "What was that?" <laughs> you know. Well, I've hunted. I've hunted with a lot of people over the years. I've had, you know, quail hunters that just absolutely will not miss. Yeah. Everything, but Dave is the best person at shooting biscuits. Shooting biscuits? <laughs> <laughs> right in his mouth. <laughs> yeah. How about uh, that, Lance? Uh, you yeah. vouch for that? That's a, yeah, I do. Uh, I'll give you an example. This year during the ice, we had a bunch of ducks come in, and everybody emptied out with their modern firearms, and that duck was, I promise you, 60 or 70 yards out. You can tell when Gabby shot, he was the only one who shot at it, and he killed it stone dead at about 60 <laughs> yards with that muzzle loader. Wow. Well, I, I know that uh, I've asked everybody uh, if they had one word to describe Dave Gabbard, what would that be uh, for you, Jeff? Unforgettable. Unforgettable. <laughs> I like that. That like a song title. I think it yeah. well, don't start okay. singing it okay. right now. Okay. Yeah. How about you, Lance? Friend. Friend, Amen. yeah, that's uh, all. Everybody but, has done a different word, which I'm really surprised yeah, yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. that you are multi. You know, they're giving me kudos, but nah, what the job we do? It's all a team. You know, I I can't do mine unless they do theirs. That's right, and, that, and that's what Lance told somebody. You know, when we do a program, mm-hmm. you would see the people. We have all what we call all our usual suspects. Yeah, because they want to be there. They like. They know what they're doing. In fact. I was setting up for an outdoor show one, one day and when Gary Myers was executive director, mm-hmm. and he came over and said, what can I do? What can I? I said, I'll do respect, Mr. Director. Stay out of our way because we know what we're doing. Yeah. Go over there, smile, and talk. That's what's it. You told him know, that? I told him that. And you're still working? Yeah. Okay. All right. 
Well, you, you, know? ha- you have a way. Uh, if somebody else would have went over and said, uh, da, 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 uh, <laughs> "Mr. Myers, can, can I do this?" And, <laughs> you went over and said, the only, hey. time, "The only time the director got me, I was sitting there at my desk in the regional office. They yeah. put a phone call back there. I go, Wildlife Resources, Dave Gabbard, may I help you?" And he goes, "Hey, Dave, this is Gary." Gary. And then I caught the voice. Oh, <laughs> go, oh Mr. Director, what can <laughs> I do? Mr. Director yeah. woke you up and everything, but. Uh, Guys, we appreciate you being with us this morning. I think we really uh, we uh, we got him on yeah, this, yeah, and, uh, yeah, and, yeah. and I know that you two guys are both uh, important parts of his life, and uh, uh, appreciate you taking time to do this. But, and, uh, but in the blind, one more thing. One more thing. He's the talking re- more than anybody. The okay? dogs love me because why is that? I give oh, them, I give them biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> you do what now? I give them biscuits. Yeah. I'm the, one of the chief cooks in Bottle Water. I know, but yeah. you feed the dogs biscuits? I give them biscuits, you know. Oh, oh yeah. And they make some good retreat. Hey. You can wear a dog out up there. Uh, do you have a dog named yeah. Seabiscuit? No. Okay, you should get one that named Duck Biscuit, you know, and no, it no. could be your own personal hey, dog. Huh? Yeah, what? well... If, if we can't find the dogs, we go look for Gabby because he's going to have them in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you, Lance, for being Thank with you, us. Uh, yep. Yeah. Right. See you in a little while. Yeah. Got to cook. All right. All right. See you. <laughs> Bye. See ya. All right. Let's All take right. another break. Be right back on Outdoors with Larry Ray.